stop. Before you continue with any of the instructions in this video, make sure you have found out your default SIM pin from your mobile phone provider. If you don't do this and you enter your pin incorrectly more than three times, you will lock yourself out of your SIM and you will need to contact your mobile network provider to obtain your PUC code and you will not be able to use your phone to make or receive calls or text messages during the meantime. I was just watching a piece on uh, BBC Watchdog um, talking about people who've had their phones stolen or lost and uh, as a result ended up with bills from the mobile network um, of up to several thousand pounds um, and the cause of this is fraudsters taking the phone and um, using it to dial premium rate numbers repeatedly um, numbers that they bought themselves so they receive the proceeds from calling these premium rate numbers at your cost um, what's been discovered which I knew about before but I didn't realize how big the problem was and uh, how many people didn't know about it is that protecting your device isn't gonna protect you against this problem um, simply putting a pin on your device <coughs> only protects the device and does not protect your SIM card which can be put into another device and then used as normal now I'd say probably about 99% of SIM cards out there aren't protected whereas they used to be in older phones because uh, older phones didn't have a device pin they only had uh, they used the SIM pin <coughs> so I'm gonna go through a few steps specifically on the iPhone how to set your set your device's security and set your SIM security. So the first thing you need to do is get your iPhone. Obviously, um, I've got an iPhone 6 Plus, but it's the same across them all. There's uh, one or two minor differences depending on whether your phone has Touch ID or not. But uh, we'll go through those now. So I've removed all the security pins from my phone, so it unlocks without. Uh, without a pin so the most basic thing you can do first is to set your passcode obviously I'm going to set a passcode which is not the passcode I normally use because I don't want that broadcast broadcasted on the internet so on uh, your iPhone it will be either in general or if you've got touch ID it will be in touch ID and passcode and first thing you want to do is turn the passcode on so it's going to ask you to set yourself a passcode so I'm going to just set one, two, three, four. It's going to ask you to type it in again to confirm it. And there we go. My uh, passcode's now set. So that's the passcode. If I come out of that, lock the phone, try to open the phone again. Now it's going to ask for the passcode. So, oops, uh, type it incorrectly. And that's unlocked my phone. Now, Touch ID, you can also set fingerprints. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail on that. You should set your fingerprints as well. Um, and set the passcode to something not straightforward like 1234 or 2580 or the usual sort of easy one. Something not so obvious. Not your birth year or something like that. Um, second step of this is to go into phone sim pin now at this point you must make sure you've got your default pin in my case I'm on the O2 network it's 0000, zero, zero, zero. Um, that's important because you can lock yourself out so turn sim pin on enter the default pin 0000, zero, zero, zero. okay so once you've set once you've turned the pin on you need to change it so at this point you need to enter your default pin which is 0000, zero, zero, zero. this is specifically on O2 your network may vary and then your new pin 9876 this pin should be different to the one you used to lock your phone the only time you'll be asked for it is when you first turn your phone on so enter it again to confirm and that's it so now your sim card's protected if you take the SIM card out of this phone and put it in another one, it won't work until you enter that pin. Um, and I'll show you what happens when you turn the phone off and back on again. So, shut the phone down. And power it back on again. So, 
So you can see it says SIM locked. So swipe to unlock. Now this is your device pin, in which case I set it to one, two, three, four. So that's unlocked the device. I should get a message now saying the SIM's locked and I need to unlock it. This you'll only see when you first turn the device on. And I set that to nine, eight, seven, six. Okay. And that's unlocked it. So, why do you need to set both pins? The SIM pin obviously protect, protects your mobile phone account, uh, your mobile phone number and everything associated with that and the mobile network. Um, you should protect that with a different pin to your phone because people are likely to see you entering the, your phone pin. Uh, they're not as likely to see you entering the SIM pin because you only enter it once when you first turn the phone on. And uh, if you're like me, you don't turn your phone off and on very often. Your phone pin's important as well. Because if you have your email account set up your phone, and apps that give your identity away to what accounts you might have. Say for example, if you have bank, banking apps and other things like that, um, they could do the forgotten your password thing and then get your password for your bank account for your email, PayPal, eBay, anything like that. So it is important to have a pin set on those as well. I hope this has been useful. Thanks for watching.